Now let's look at Buddhism. This is Shakyamuni Buddhism, Tibetan Buddhism. Look at, here is the Buddha. Look at the top. This is called the Peacock Demon. And I actually asked a Buddhist who what this deity was, and they named it the Peacock Demon. They know that it's a demon. Look next is the Naga, or the uh, snake beings. Look at the characteristics of this Peacock Demon. Red, female breasts, so androgynous. And I even confirmed this with a, a Buddhist monk. That is an androgynous being. Bird's head, bird's feet. Look at the similarities between the characteristics of the Baphomet. Instead, here we have goat's head, angelic being with wings, and we have female breasts and male phallus. We don't have the uh, the male part here, though, but legs of a goat. So same characteristics, both east and west. Here's a depiction of Michael, the archangel, slaying uh, Satan, and then you have now a bird uh, characteristics again. So looks like bird characteristics, but in this case looks like bat wings, or, but could be bird wings. But uh, same characteristics, look at even the breast as well. So strange things going on east and west, they are interrelated. So this particular being here, this is called the Garuda. You see the Garuda here with female breasts as well, and Garuda Indonesia Airlines. The peacock demon, I couldn't understand this when I first... Uh, uh, was first described to me, but here is the peacock, and here is that Garuda up above. And that Garuda is holding up, uh, usually holding up a Buddha, and uh, sometimes, uh, or, or a god, um, that kind of a thing. And so there is this assistance of demons uh, to attain enlightenment, and that is described in Buddhism. And so the Yezid, I can't remember, but there's a tribe. If you look up a uh, peacock angel or peacock demon, um, you get uh, the some Yezid tribe, and then you have, uh, you can see this image. This image looks very similar to the NBC peacock as well logo. So you look at uh, now uh, Hinduism. Buddha was a Hindu, and therefore uh, Buddhism has the same thing that Hinduism has. And you see all these serpents that represent wisdom. Of course, that is the lie. Um, and the Garden of Eden and that story in Genesis, you can read all about it. Um, that the uh, serpent now is, uh, for the Luciferians, is the savior of man. And look at the adoration of that serpent. These are all dragons in this Buddha description. Very elaborate. Idols sculptures going on. Here's the Naga themselves and you can see now the stake, snakes behind. This is very reminiscent of perhaps Medusa as well. Look at the fiery serpents, brazen serpents, uh, and the description of these. Uh, interesting, there are biblical descriptions of these as well. Look at the uh, that god, this one we saw in the first plate uh, in the whole part one, and riding the dragon. And who is the dragon? The Satan and the devil. So Buddha hanging out with the dragon and the reverence of this and the idolization of this. Dragons. Now here we have the phoenix and the dragon paired. And this is a pretty key image. The phoenix representing the female aspect and earth. The dragon representing the heavenly aspect or male and so uh, we have this pearl. There is a description of a pearl uh, uh, in the Bible uh, likened to heaven, the kingdom of heaven. So we have an occult description of this with the, the phoenix and the dragon. And you're going to see some strange things with regard to the pairing of these. I did want to come back to uh, Joseph Campbell and tell you um, that I remember that of Pawns and Kings uh, was about is about a wizard. It's a fiction story about a wizard who becomes the uh, 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 a master of his craft. So there's peculiar things going on with witch witchcraft and these uh, this myths. In addition to that, uh, uh, Joseph Campbell is actually his uh, mentor was Carl Jung, and Carl Jung is known to be a mystic. Um, and the lineage also of Carl Jung is Freud and uh, Nietzsche. And so you have the psychology, no God, all of this. There is a purpose behind all of this. 
And I just want you to understand and research Joseph Campbell and his lineage uh, and who he's been influenced by uh, with regard to uh, psychology and mysticism even. And it's odd that he would even write a book uh, about a wizard that uh, uh, is a, becomes a master of his craft uh, with regard to Freemasonry. And you see the checkerboard on his uh, book cover. So going, moving along with the uh, Ouroboros, Cockatrice, uh, a snake and serpent biting the tail and you have all of this uh, occult imagery this is alchemy and uh, various uh, uh, astrology signs here's the cockatrice half uh, snake half bird and you see the Ouroboros even in Buddhism all the way around now and it's very similar to that Dharma wheel uh, and this God now covering this earth area. Here is the serpent intertwining the tree of life in Kabbalah. This is the ten sephiroth of the Kabbalah, and you can see the serpent around that. Look at the uh, Buddhist uh, symbol, uh, yin and yang, on tarot card. And so that does not originate uh, in Buddhism. It is an ancient symbol representing this dual duality, um, darkness being in light and light being in darkness. Um, the Bible is clear that uh, there is no darkness in uh, God. God is light and there is no darkness in him. Here is the um, papacy or the uh, priestess. And then you see uh, the checkerboard pattern. Look at the yin and yang on the book itself. Even the crescent moon up there. This is the uh, uh, priority, priory de Sion family crest. Moving on to uh, Buddhism as well, look at the repetitious prayer. This is in Hinduism, chanting. Chanting is invoking. And so here's Angelina Jolie with an invoking chanting prayer. And this is, or meditation. And these invoke demons. So look at now the Dalai Lama here. This is just a painting of him. He's got the eye up above. And uh, so, yeah, they can depict him and show him uh, either way. But he is a friend of Rome, and therefore, look at the Roman hand of power, sign of the benediction. He says he's not a bad demon, and he puts uh, um, uh, horns up above. Again, in another section, putting horns up above, check it out. Some Chinese officials have described me as a demon. I could be a demon with the horns, but I'm not a bad demon. So they do have descriptions of white witches, uh, dark witches, good demons, bad demons, uh, said the Dalai Lama while addressing a program on Mother Teresa in Kolkata. So look, he's describing it in Buddhism. They have deities and they even have demons and describe them as demons. So we are oblivious to religion uh, as a whole. And I want you to understand Buddha was a Hindu. Hinduism is, is many gods. Buddha simply cut out a lot of gods. Zen Buddhism is really the culmination into really atheism and the worship of nature and uh, this uh, how what the characteristics of nature are peace and and balance and all of these things that are Zen Buddhism